Hey, yo, what's going on, you guys? Tucker here with a brand new video for you guys today. Today, we're going to be showcasing my super discard list. This is making use of the brand new Series 5 card, Super Giant, as well as the new buff to Helicarrier post patch, uh, being able to get your Morbius and Collector massive on turn six by making use of Super Giant and playing Modok on five, which you'll see a lot of that actually in the gameplay today. Um, this list has been a lot, a lot of fun. It's been getting me back to my roots of play and discard again. And it just makes two really, really good games of just stealing cubes because your opponent doesn't know exactly what's going to be happening on turn six. This right here is our deck that we're going to be showcasing today, the Super Discard deck. Down in the description below, I will have the deck code for you just to be able to copy and paste it and make it super, super smooth. But we're about to go over each card individually. So the first card we have here on the list is going to be Blade. Blade is a targeted discard with its ability is to discard the farthest rightmost card in your hand. In order to maximize the usage of Blade, you're going to be discarding your Apocalypse, Helicarrier on Curve if you have Collector down, Swarms to enable you to have more Swarms in your hand to also boost your Collector, and for later turns where you're able to be discarding Swarm to buff your Collector and your Morbius at the same time. Blade is just so much better now post OTA from a couple months ago to be able to just do targeted discard and it works really really well on this list next we have Morbius you can't have a discard list really without Morbius he is the bread and butter of this list over here for every single card discarded you get plus two um, especially with the comboing in this deck over here if you're playing him on a later turn as well on a Modoc turn um, Modok on Wong, which you're going to see today, is absolutely insane. Your Morbius on turn 6 can get an additional 20 power at the end of the game if you get your combo correct. Of course, we have Collector here as well. Something interesting about Collector is a lot of these discard cards actually boost your Collector as well. Because when you discard a Swarm, it is a quote-unquote new card that's entering your hand. So that buffs your Collector as well as Apocalypse when Apocalypse is discarded. It is a new card entering your hand, and that buffs Collector. And of course, the combo you really want is the Helicarrier with Collector with Helicarrier's new buff post the patch. It fills your entire hand with up to seven cards, um, and those additional seven cards count as new cards entering your hand, which gives your Collector an additional seven power. Zabu over here. I mean, we got to have some little form of... Energy manipulation, energy cheating. Um, Zabu here enables you to get your Wong or your Dracula or even Supergiant uh, down on curve, uh, enabling you to be able to just play two four drops potentially on turn six. Um, so you can play your Wong on six and play your Dracula on six. Of course, this is after a Supergiant uh, interaction because then you can get your either Modok to go off twice at the end of the game, since your opponent didn't know you had Wong in hand anyways, or it enables you to also do some of maybe your smaller discard cards on Wong. It just really allows you to kind of like hide your Wong, um, hey -yo, um, and just have, have a, like, I feel like a better turn six than normal, even though you're not using a lot of uh, four drops in this list. Of course, you have Swarm over here. Swarm, what's really great about uh, Swarm and discard is when this card is discarded, it costs zero. So you can play this card on curve if you have too many swarms in hand. Um, it buffs your collector because they're entering your hand, which gives you an additional two cards uh, for your collector. And it's an additional discard for Morbius too, um, especially with the Wong-Modok interaction, which is definitely our main combo um, we're showcasing here today as well. Um, it really allows you to keep discarding swarm as much as possible to continue to buff your Morbius and your collector. Um, yes, it might get a little cloggy for your Dracula, but Dracula is not your primary win con here, which is why there's so many different lines and why I really like the list. And then, of course, we have Colleen. Colleen is mainly in here to target, discard your um, Swarm. Uh, Colleen also can be used end game as well if you have some of your maybe bigger cards in hand. And let's say you do have your um, Dracula line. If you do play Colleen at the end of the game, um, and you have discarded, you know, Helicarrier, so your hand is full of seven random cards. Colleen can thin out a lot of these smaller cards for you to enable your Dracula to more than likely hit bigger cards if you have to play the line that way. Um, and she also just continues to buff your Collector and your Morbius if she continues to hit the Swarms over and over again. 
Dracula here, of course, is another alternate line you have uh, in the list um, to either absorb your massive apocalypse, which will happen end of game. Dracula 2 does not get shang chi uh, since it is an end of game um, action. Um, and the only way to really kill a Dracula right now is with Lady Deathstrike. So it's a, it's a safe card for you, and your opponent always has to worry about you having a big card for Dracula. So it's kind of another, like, makes your opponent think card, and, like, if you snap with a Dracula down, more than likely they're either going to think you're bluffing or they'll insert retreat because they think your Dracula is going to get too huge. Wong over here is our sneaky card. So typically in, like, a discard list, you're going to want to have Wong down early so you can start discarding cards really really quickly but in this list we're making more use of super giant um in order to play a wong on a later turn so we normally set up our combo on turn five with all the discard cards we want to use and then we play wong on top of that it enables you not to get cosmode um before the end of the game not to get enchantress um uh, before the end of the game i mean they may be enchantress your morbius but they want enchantress your wong so it really is like super sneaky to actually play this later in the game opposed to earlier on curve, um, which is like the primary usage of this. And it really helps your collector and your Morbius get big. And of course, if you have Apocalypse in hand, it helps your Dracula get big. This over here is the brand new Series 5 card coming out this week. Um, Supergiant, it hides um, your turn um, for your next turn because it's an honor reveal ability uh, for both players. So if you're playing this on curve and you're playing this on four without Zabu, it enables you not to get hit by Leech, not to allow your opponent to have a Sarah, no Jane Foster, no Legion. It allows you not to get hit by a snow guard or anything if that's on, like, turn six. So, like, if you have Limbo up, Supergiant protects you from that. Um, and it's it's a really, really solid card. Um, really good right now. I wouldn't, I can't say with confidence that you should spend five or 6K tokens on it. Um, but it is really, really fun, and I think it's going to just get better, better with time. Of course, you also have Modok here. Um, Modok discards every single thing in your hand, and you're seeing Modok a lot in Hella List. Modok in this list, we are actually hitting more with Wonk. Um, and because of that super giant interaction I was talking about too, you can play your Modok on curve and not have to worry about your entire hand getting discarded. It allows you to set up your combos better later in game on turn um, six. Um, setting him up behind a Wong before he flips over at the end of the game to just completely wipe your hand, buff your Collector, buff your Morbius, potentially even buff your Dracula. It works really, really well, and then you'll see it's crazy in this combo. Of course, we also have um, Apocalypse here as well. Apocalypse, when he's discarded, gets plus four power. So if you are playing a lot of these discard cards on curve, and let's say your Apocalypse is in your right side of your hand and gets hit by a blade, that's an automatic plus four to your Apocalypse because it just gets discarded, of course, because it's farthest right. And like, let's say on curve, it's end of the game. You got your Wong down. Your smallest card in hand is your Apocalypse. Your Colleen's going to also target your Apocalypse. So like the Apocalypse value really is in here for your Dracula. And um, it does help boost your collector and morbius at the same time because this card can get discarded repeatedly and because it's still getting added back to your hand it buffs your collector in that sense um and it's like a classic discard card if you guys have played discard before you guys know apocalypse can get huge your dracula can get huge and it just has just incredible value last but not least we have hella carrier i'm showcasing the pixel hero carrier because it's the only one i have at the moment i need to be getting some more um but um hella carrier in this list is to buff your collector but it works really, really well with your Morbius as well. Because of the bread and butter combo we were talking about, if you go ahead and you Modok your Helicarrier, that is a buff directly to your Collector, adding seven cards to your hand, which is seven power for your Collector. And then if you Modok it again, that is an additional 14 power. 14 power for your Morbius on turn six, which just allows your Morbius to get huge. You're used to Dracula getting up to 20 power. Morbius can get up to 20 power on turn six. It's just really, really sneaky. I'm telling you, it is It is so much fun playing this list. There's just something about discard that just like flows really good. Um, but yeah, that is, that is the gist of the list. Um, and uh, let's get into some gameplay. Uh, we're going to Morbius on the right. Morbius right, we get Colleen, Blade... Come on, let's get some some spiciness. Get a little spicy. Oh, we get swarm in here. 
We're going to do this. We could play two, but we could get something as other, something else. Quake? Quake? What in the world are we doing, Big Ounce? We're just doing some stuff for tempo here? I should have bladed. I should has bladed. Let's super giant here. Super giant will go middle. I then on snap retreat on turn five. Yeah, they miss really. Yeah, Miss Marvel. Okay, Miss Marvel goes there. So they can move Jeff. He can't do any Zabu shenanigans here. We do get Drakewella. We do get some Drakewella action. Um, Super Giant's been really good. It's been allowing us to do some Modok and some sneaky stuff on five. So I have been liking that interaction. We're also going to have Pryo on this turn. Do we snap this? We always snap this, right? Always snap this? Well, Modoc Morbius doesn't get big enough. If I just play these lanes here. Let me do that, actually. Doom rules all. Is that absorbing, man? Sweet. That's great. That is great. Victory. I'm trying to have some just alternate lines so we're not like super dependent on one thing. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, I, I, I see what you're saying. Give me counter synergy. But I, it, but it has been working well for us. I mean, we have over a uh, sixty-five percent win rate in seventy games, which is really good. So we got we do got some spice out here. What is this? Is this Helicarrier? Super giant. That's some value. Okay, we'll take that. Okay, what list is this? So I can Wong here. Super Giant went off, so I'm not gonna get hit by that. That actually doesn't go off, right? This would just nuke my hand. Yup. Yup. Mm -mm -mm. I honestly probably long as to kind of just throw this off here. This gets bigger than that. That could turn into like an arrow. If it's arrow, it's even better for us. Oh snap! Boomer snap it. I am reborn. 
Sweet. Some good value too. Doom rules Doom. all. Minions Hello? to me. Nice. What's that on the left? Sweet. Sweet. The value. Oh, value. Apocalypse. Okay. So Super Giant also, too, is to make our Victory. opponent kind of like overcommit. Like that instance. He was definitely quaking. Mr. Positive. Or is it? Some blade value. Super Giant at five is not fun. I mean, if we get Zabu, this is going to be okay. Come on. What do we got? What do we got? We got Z Abby. Some blade value. Off rip. Deadpool. Cool. Can I get a Zabu, please, to stop this destroy curve? Um, we just want, we just do Colleen. Um, we Colleen and we play a Swarm. We get Modoc. Yeah. Sweet. Killmonger. Yikes. Where is my Zabu when I need him? Where is the Zobster? Oh, there's Colleen. That will also work, my friend. That will also be very, very, very nice. Very, very, very nice. The question is, though... Do we get a Morbius? Please? Morbius and we're okay. We have Helicarrier, we have the Swarms. Collector's gonna get freaking big. It's Deadpool's two. Can we do something crazy here? What in the... Goodness gracious. Hmm. And then he forges venom. And is that... Deadpool is eight. He's got seven energy with an eight power. So an eight power Deadpool. He's destroyed four, five. Six, seven, so he's destroyed seven cards. He is. So his death cost one. His null isn't massive, but his Deadpool is eight. His death is 12, so he's dropping 20 power at least. Um. Do I do this? Because while we're not discarding a lot right here. We disc this will be four, so that's eight for Morbius. And then we'll discard another seven, so that's another 14 for Morbius. So Morbius is going to be pretty massive. I think we, we run this. Cool. I'm glad, I'm glad we did what we did. I'm glad. Actually, do we get big enough here? No, we don't get big enough. We actually, well, the double swarms actually is crazy big. <gasps> Victory. Wait. What we got? We got Zabu on curve. We do got the throne room. 
And we do have Super Giant. This is looking good. Oh my word. Honestly, not bad. I did see the sunspot bundle. I, um... I mean, this hit Swarm twice. Um... Huh. That's no fun. That's no fun, but I think we might snap this, actually. Because we'll just play Helicarrier there on six, and we'll play Modoc. Because the next thing we get is Wong. Cosmo. But. Hmm. I should have just played that. I play Modoc there instead. I done messed up. I done messed up. Unless, unless, oh, snap. Unless. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. I'd really appreciate it. I'm going to be posting more content soon, so be on the lookout for that.